It has been a very busy two days. Five bomb threats for Bristol, including two today. Now, they have made three arrests, and they told it all at a meeting here today at the auditorium. Things have been moving fast in Bristol. We have made another arrest recently, um, a couple hours ago. Today, we arrested a 10 year old from Edgewood and a 10 year old from the Stafford School. And currently, actually, as we speak, are in an interview with another student and parent. There have been eight bomb threats, three arrests, and more coming. Police say the threats are not related. Some were called in, others scratched into bathroom walls or desks or notes left behind in classrooms. This afternoon, the Green Hill School was evacuated. Students rushed out to the backfields while bomb dogs swept the school. One of my friends, they started crying and I asked her what was wrong and she said that it was actually real. So I got all scared and was like nervous and freaking out. The toll is heavy on students as eight of the 12 schools have received threats. And the school system has ramped up security over the past 24 hours. Additional surveillance, both by police, video camera, and other individuals in the schools. Uh, we have uh, monitoring of students uh, in several different ways inside of the schools. The three students have been charged with multiple felonies, and the school will start expulsionary hearings tomorrow. The city called a meeting at the high school auditorium to let parents know they are making progress. Well, if you take a look inside right now, it is almost standing room only. They have the police, the fire department. Hundreds of parents, teachers, students all coming here to see exactly what's going on with the bomb threats in their school system. Two felonies and expulsion up to a year, plus the parents have to pay back the police department. Oh yes. Oh yes. You took a, they took a lot of a lot of our money out of our town. Yep. I agree. And police say they're going to do whatever it takes to try and make arrests in all eight cases. As a matter of fact, they say they're putting detectives on overtime and the parents will be billed if their child is arrested. We're in Bristol. Bob Wilson, News 8.